the summer shine on goldenrod, and in the autumn shine on golden leaf, and in the winter shine your golden light on our lives, and shine on golden meadows in the spring. I have some dear friends that have a house in Blacksburg, Virginia, in the mountains. It's a very minimal place, but it's full of beautiful rugs, plenty of records, and lots of plants. One summer, a few of our friends decided to get together at that place to work on a pottery residency project, working with the land and the space. They set up an outdoor studio with a kick wheel, a table full of tools. They took some clay from the creek to make slip, and they were planning on doing a pit firing or two outdoors at the end of the residency. It was beautiful August weather. We often took breaks to go visit nearby friends on other farms, or to go on hikes, or to just cook food and enjoy the weather. One day we went to Green Star Farm and helped pick herbs and flowers. The woman who lives there makes a lot of medicine with the herbs. I was picking passion flower, my boyfriend was picking hops, and my friend Caleb was getting lost in the zinnia. On the way back, we saw a waterfall and we decided to stop and we ended up hiking down the rocks, down the creek and taking a swim. The sun was starting to set, but we had another place to stop that day. We had to go to Highland Farm to get some ingredients for the upcoming pit firing, horse poop to be specific. So they had figured out that horse poop was good fuel for firing, and our friends at Highland Farm had a horse named Josie and plenty of resources to share. We got back to the outdoor studio, they laid a huge blue tarp down and spread Josie's poop around on the tarp, mixing it with hay so it could dry out. That way it would be really efficient for the firing. And some evenings we just hang out in Caleb's garden, picking Tulsi herbs to make tea for later, while watching the orb weavers make their webs, and the rabbits hop by. We cooked our meals outdoors just about for lunch, dinner, and sometimes breakfast. Aaron, who lived there, would sometimes go in the creek and uh, clean off his beans right there. One day I went downtown to go look at the koi fish swimming in a pond and stop by the farmer's market. I was pretty surprised to see my friend Anthony there. He had lived in Blacksburg before, but he had been living in Seattle and some other places, but he was set up busking with his drawing station. You dream it, he'll draw it. Your topic, your price. So we had picked up some peaches and tomatoes and some other carrots, and we ended up getting some drawings from Anthony. We got back to our friend's place. I was playing some music along with our friend Aaron outside of the barn where most of the meals were being cooked. Inside the barn was the big wood stove that Aaron manned. We'd stuff all kinds of things in there, eggplants, the tomatoes we got, other veggies and meats. That's how a lot of our meals were cooked. 
As Aaron works with the stove, V&A and Ian loaded their pit with all their raw material. And on the full moon, which happened to be Ian's birthday, they got that pit lit up with all of that Josie material and some other things inside. They had to wait a few days for the pit to cool down. But it was our last day there, and we were getting ready to leave, sharing another meal around the table. They started unloading the pit, and even though it had been a few days and it was still cooling down, there were still some embers inside of the pots. Now, I share this story as a way to celebrate friendship, taking time to make art and being with each other. Sip by sip, we pass out plates and find new ways of saying grace. A thankful phase, a steady pace, it's how we live. It's not a face. Do not condemn these getaways. They help us get straight to the point. Instead, join in on our parades. Our offerings won't disappoint. <laughs>